Hey everyone, it's Diane here from Deco Easy. Jenny and I are super happy that you stopped by our channel to watch. If you want to see our next daily DIY, then keep on watching. Hey, it's Diane here. Are you ready for a new DIY? Today I'm going to make something out of these coasters. Let me first unwrap them. They are from Action and I believe they costed me one euro fifty or something for a package of two, which is quite cheap at the moment. Because I don't know how it was with you guys, but here the prices of everything are getting higher. There we are. This is rubbish. What I want to do, I'm going to make two, well, decor hangers actually. In the farmhouse style, I'm going to make the same set, but each of them will be a little bit different from each other. Let's go. Okay, let's take this one away. This is number one. I get a black marker here and, well, it's a cup, I'm going to use it as a stencil, hold down this firmly, let me check it again, is it a little bit in the center, I think it is now, I'm going to carefully draw a line around. I have a base circle here. Now let me grab some of my black paint and the brush. I'm going to paint the outside part of the circle and the inner one part. That is what we leave in the correct pattern. I think it is easier to first start painting around the edges here. Be careful because this stuff soaks up a lot of paint. So make sure that you use enough. Now I'm going to leave this to dry thanks to the line that I put down with the cup and the marker. I have quite a good sharp line and that is what i wanted well number one is leaving here to dry now it's time to move over to number two and therefore i printed myself a honeycomb pattern now, let me move it upside down paint here is at least a little wet so why not just use the back of the coaster I'm going to draw the same circle as i did with the same cup I believe my marker must be here, yes. And I'm going to cut it out. I do this on the back uh, ground, so hopefully not too much of the marker will get through the paper and ruin the print. Look, now you have a cleaner part to cut off. There is a good print here that I'm going to Mod Podge, or actually the fake brother, the Dutch fake brother of the Mod Podge. 17 times cheaper than real Mod Podge. I keep saying it. It is perfect as a glue, just as Mod Podge, but not for uh, sealing. But I'm not sealing that much anymore today. There we go. That is enough. Now brush out the glue throughout the whole paper. This is of course way too much, but I always use too much. And then brush out the air bubbles with a clean brush when you're putting it upon. Well, this inner part has to dry, but it can't, I can start working on the outer circles and therefore I have some twine and the glue gun here have some extra glue sticks at the ready if necessary and the scissors to help me push the cord to the cork. Let's start off. Let's just 
small bump of glue and I'm about to press with the scissors the twine into the right part. Now I might think that using Mod Podge is even a better idea. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, I tried a little piece to see if it worked, but it did. I'm going to use some hot glue on the inside parts and then I can carefully start twirling around with the Mod Podge part. Because on the inner part the hot glue is important to keep the twine in the right place. Now I'm going to make all the way around so this is going to take a while before this is done and I will show you how it looks like in the end. Well, it took me, I think, about 20 minutes or so, but then this part was completely covered up with twine. And I think it looks more like some sort of, uh, how do you call that, no, the bee's nest entrance where it is. That is at least the idea that I wanted to achieve. So now the inside part still has to dry because I always use a lot of glue. So I'm going to let that dry. And uh, in the meantime, we're going to continue with the black edged coaster. Okay, this is the black edged coaster and I also want to add some twine here. So let me carefully grab the glue gun and start off with applying some glue. I only want to do one or two layers here, not too much. It's just as a, you know, a separation from the cork to the black. So here and there I'm going to drop some glue and then I gotta work fast because this glue dries pretty fast too by pushing it towards the edge. Hey, the coasters are dry, I'm ready to craft further with. I have these beautiful Scrabble letters, also from Action. There are a bunch of them and I, some of the letters are nest and be welcome. Now the next thing I want to do is add some bees. So I found some printables from the internet that I'm going to cut out. And I'll be mud potching it onto the paper or the coaster cork part. these are the DIY lines. I think they're really suitable to put in a wreath or hang it in your hallway or something like that. The be welcome and the earnest sign. Well, let us know what you think by writing it down in the comment section. And Jenny and I hope to see you back again in our next DIY. So that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Jenny, I'm really happy that you stopped by here on our Decor Easy channel. 
If you want to stay tuned of what we make, then hit the subscribe and also the bell button so you get a notification when we upload something new. Thank you so much for watching and we wish you a nice day. Bye everyone!